governments, scientists, and major media suddenly reacting to a mysterious interstellar object. A new strange observation is shaking up theories about Three Eye Atlas. It appears to be shooting off periodic puffs of gas and dust that scatter the sunlight around it. Showing unexpected behavior and nobody agrees on what it means. When this uh, ice reservoir faces the sun, it sublimates, it evaporates, and you end up getting a puff of gas and dust. But did we just stumble upon something much larger at play? Because while these agencies are busy tracking 3i Atlas, look at what they confirmed in the last 72 hours. Here's what they're saying in their own words. Times of Israel quotes, 3i Atlas is shaping the new world order in the next UN IAWN planetary defense, which we're actively in. But there's also a twist to the story and it involves you and me. And notice something that they state here that's very important. Professor Avi Lowy, there's a debate between him and NASA experts, but nobody else in U.S. media. India's talking, Spain's talking, Europe's talking, Israel's talking. Why has the U.S. media wildly gone silent? And then here's the bigger picture. When institutions go silent, they give the ownership of the story to the public across multiple platforms. The public taking control of the narrative. Isn't that something different? And to see deeper into this, we need to listen to what they're about to say here next. And then they say reality, the world is shifting. Power centers are realigning. The media must keep pace or fall behind. When official institutions fall silent, the public fills the vacuum. And in that era, defined by space communication and rapidly changing geopolitical forces, this is no longer just a matter of policy. It's a matter of global consciousness. Now, this is the part that caught my attention. Because there is a global awakening to the fact that things are happening in our atmosphere. Three Eye Atlas, the media going silent, people are putting their own data together and not waiting on governments to respond. But in the midst of all that, we can feel you in the comments been saying that maybe there is something larger here that is known and not just within us. And institutions. So why now all of a sudden will the public have more control over the narrative than the official sources? Now here's where things get strange because the first official source says 3 i Atlas is at a safe distance and NASA posted like a calm monthly sky update. That's what's up for December. Comet 3 i Atlas is making its closest approach to Earth on December 19th. This could be your best bet to see this interstellar interloper. Comet 3i Atlas is the third object in history from outside of our solar system to be discovered within our solar system. NASA continues to observe and study the object using a variety of spacecraft and telescopes so we can learn as much as we can about it while it's in our solar neighborhood. But then, a different source reports something unusual. A former Air Force flight surgeon says samples shown iron-free nickel alloy, something he literally calls impossible by natural formation. Hello, I'm Dr. Gregory Rogers. I used to be a flight surgeon for the United States Air Force and for NASA. One thing that I would like to address right now is that there are so many stories and competing stories about what all is going on with 3i Atlas. So I want to add um, my two bits to it. I don't want to focus on all of the different strange anomalous things that so many other people have uh, brought up, especially Dr. Avi Loeb, but I want to discuss just the chemistry. When uh, I've worked with the space program, I knew about the chemistry of the space shuttle the uh, deep space satellites we were sending out, the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, even uh, the 
uh, chemistry of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are well known. One of the characteristics of our spacecraft is that they have uh, nickel alloys that they are made of. And the reason we chose to make these uh, alloys useful for our spacecraft is because they are so adaptable to the space environment. Iron, on the other hand, is not. So we don't put iron into any of our spacecraft. Well, when we study the chemistry of 3i Atlas, one of the things that we see is that there's no iron there appreciably. But there are nickel alloys that are very similar to the nickel alloys that we use in our spacecraft. When the universe creates iron, it also creates nickel. Hmm. After hearing that video, it really makes you think. And I would love to hear your comments about what you think is really happening. Because at the same time, while all this is happening, you had the U.S. military with DARPA announcing that they wanted to track objects coming from the moon. Meanwhile, one month before they said that a video came out, something coming from around the moon. What the f that light moving by the moon? Well, I'm recording it. So things on Earth and in the sky are getting very strange right now. So it's leaving people with a couple of questions. If 3 i Atlas comes closer to us and doesn't make contact, what could happen? And we're just going to look at the potential scenarios here that could happen, not saying it is going to happen. Just for our preparedness to be aware of what situations could be. And the reason why we're going to bring this up, because the planetary defense scenario is happening now, all the way up until January, by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and by the Planetary Defense Coordination Office at NASA headquarters in Washington. Potentially hazardous asteroids can show up anywhere in the night sky at any time. Oh, this might be something. Oh, you guys, look at that. Right now, it is absolutely a potentially hazardous object. If you guys were going to be here for a discovery, a PHA is definitely what you want. <laughs> yeah. This is a big rock, yeah. What would an asteroid that is a kilometer in diameter what would it do if it hit the Earth? That is likely to end human civilization. It affects you know, the entire humanity, in fact, any, anything alive on the Earth. I really like that I'm protecting the planet. Let's say we do find something that poses an impact threat to Earth. What next? The day is coming when Earth will get impact. We know it will happen. We, we just don't know when it will happen. If 3i Atlas was to get closer to Earth without hitting, the temporary effects that could take place would be atmospheric changes due to the release of gas and dust from its coma and potentially causing a bright sky display and possibly a temporary localized increase in atmospheric dust. Now, the question that you have is how would that affect Earth in the atmosphere long term because the unusual magnetic properties that inside the dust that would be coming from 3i Atlas that's been confirmed has these unusual magnetic properties. And take a look right here on screen for the localized effects. Depending on the comet size and composition, a closer pass could lead to higher concentration of certain elements in the upper atmosphere, while unlikely to cause a significant long term changes to earth climate a very close flyby could temporarily alter atmospheric conditions in a localized way and i know nobody is really looking into this right now 
but you will be the primary investigators on the ground. And I will listen to you when we get this flyby close to December 19th. And I will take every comment here and look at it and we will come back and we will evaluate the situation and look at it together uh, as an investigative process. So if you want to be here for that, you want to subscribe because this community is very valuable. We won't just look at that. We'll be looking at seismic events as well because of the magnetic properties that we're watching and analyzing to get new data. So here's where all this leaves us, whether you're new here or you've been here forever. When institutions stay quiet, we all start connecting the dots. And right now, the dots around 3i Atlas and the magnetic anomalies and the global attention, it feels like we're stepping into a new phase. Don't you feel it? Something that we haven't experienced before. I'm going to keep tracking every update on the seismic shift, the earth anomalies, all these events combined, and you and I will start to see real world events that we can come back and talk to each other about because this is not the end of it. This is only the beginning. And now you have made it this far. This is what's happening currently. And you need to see this right away because it's survivability right now.